What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. A lot of you guys have been spamming me to react to this video, okay? It's King and his girlfriend, Lena, have some words for Neek. Okay, we're gonna get right into this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mama today, Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. Okay, guys, so if you've been keeping up with my videos, then you saw my last video that Neek and Carmen have been going back and forth. Now, Neek went on to Twitter and expressed how she felt about Carmen allegedly. Of course we were effing close. I was trying to forgive her snake A even after her F my even a, even after effing my ex. F you go make a video on how to love yourself instead of making a 30 minute video on me. Good day, dummy. I wonder if that really happened. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys really and truly feel like Carmen effed King? Let me know. I don't know, guys. I have no idea what the fuck going on in these people's lives, but let me know in your opinion, did Carmen really smash King? Let me know in the comment section. Allegedly sleeping with her ex. Now that ex is Sheesh. King. Now King went onto Twitter because he wasn't too happy about the things that Neek tweeted. So he says, if an N-word was effing my girl, I'll never be his friend undercover. Basically meaning like, look, if Carmen was messing with your man, why are, why are you, you cool still her? being her friend undercover? Doesn't make sense. So anyways, he also tweets, All of this shit don't even make sense. never wrong in her book. That's crazy. I'm going to say this. In a relationship, if you feel like you're never wrong, that's an issue. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I feel like if you feel like you're right about every single solitary thing, you're definitely wrong. And I feel like you're definitely going to have some relationship issues because everybody makes mistakes and nobody is perfect. So if you can't accept the fact that you're not perfect and you will make mistakes, just like your partner will make mistakes, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. LOL. So then he also retweeted something that someone. That's what I'm trying to say. She always plays the victim. It takes another Capricorn to point her shit out. I know I wasn't wrong. Said basically saying that Neek is trying to play victim. Now his baby mama slash girlfriend also has some things to say. First of all, this ain't none of your goddamn business. I hate when the people who's not supposed to be involved get involved in situations they're not supposed to be involved in. But that's a whole nother motherfucking story. Y'all let me know how y'all feel though. So she went onto Twitter earlier that day and tweeted, not Mr. blocking people on every social media platform just to act like she beat some ASS. The thing is, she tweeted this way before the Carmen video dropped, so this was just bad timing. Now, oh, people were yeah. going off on her. So people always gonna make something out of nothing, right? She says, y'all are mad weird under, under this post. post. Do you see the time I posted this? I don't got ish to do with no drama. Y'all just want a reason to talk, talk about me at this point. So <laughs> then she also goes on to tweet, uh-uh. Uh -uh. Don't, don't try dragging, dragging me in this drama. drama. This, this shit, shit got, got nothing to do with nothing me. To do with me. I, know I know that's right. Talk Thank you. If Lena wasn't even speaking on the situation and she wasn't talking about Neek and the whole situation, then everybody needs to stop trying to drag her into it because it's obviously none of her business and she doesn't care for it to be her business. She doesn't want to be in it. That's what it looks like here, but I could be wrong. About in that tweet, but it was just a bad timing because it seemed like that she was talking about the Carmen and Neek situation. She could have been she though. That way before Carmen even dropped her video. Oh, so okay, then okay. she also says this media Me is, is toxic. toxic. I'm, I'm tired, tired of getting dragged into shit that, that has nothing, nothing to do with me. me. I don't, I don't even be knowing, knowing people, and y'all swear I'm talking about them. Let me be pregnant in peace. peace. I have I no issues, issues with nobody. I don't, I don't give a F what happened, happened in the past. past. That, that issue got nothing to Thank you. Lena, Laina, I don't know how to say your name. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. But look, I fuck with you. You shouldn't be involved, especially publicly, with a situation that wasn't even about you. I understand defending your man, defending your woman, whatever the case, but if it's none of your motherfucking business and you weren't involved in the situation, let your man handle it, okay? Let your man handle it. That's just how I feel. To do with me. I don't know. I feel like she, she shouldn't even responded to the tweet. She should have just deleted it. Obviously, she posted. It's easy to say that, but, you know, now she's a public figure. All eyes are on her. So if she wanted to clear it up, I understand why she would, you know? She did it well before. Because people will drag shit and people will twist it and then people will say this and say that. So I understand why people do come out and try to clear their name or try to clear up a rumor or try to clear up what the fuck was going on. Uh, because people will put a label on something, put a tag on something, make something out of nothing if you don't speak, you know, your piece on the situation. Which is sad, but it's just, it is what it is, you know? So people are going to think what they wanted. It just seems like it was dealing with the Carmen and Nick situation. So anyways, 
Carmen also went on to Instagram because she had some final words to say. Oh as shit! Well. What's Carmen up, Carmen? Says, I don't regret making my video. I said what I oh, said. Oh, I seen it this. It was yeah. the principle. My video wasn't just about the response. She, she had, had a lot to say. It was about the fact <laughs> y'all think that she could never be cool with me because I effed her man. Like that was uh, up. and it was a lie. I don't like when I'm always. I don't know who's lying, guys. I'm going to need your help. Let me know in the comment section down below. I need your help. All right. We might even do a poll. Let me know. What do you guys think? Did Carmen and King really smash? I would really like to know your opinion. I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. I can't even begin to even guess because I don't know. I really don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know what type of relationship they had. I don't have anything to go off of. But if you had to choose yes or no, did they smash or did they not? Let me know in the comment section. Is being painted as if I'm the bad, messy, etc. Because people be knowing me off the apps. Out of all the situation she was in, she never tweets nor answer anything. But when it's she about Carmen, that. the girl who gets dragged and bashed all the time, ish, it's easy to just add more fire to it. Feel good, and I'm at peace because God sees everything and how hypocrite a person can be. Y'all always stalking my moves when I unfollow someone and this and that keep the same energy with other people and, and maybe y'all will realize the truth and, and more. more my video was to show y'all that how people get on social media and make it seem like this other person was a snake fake etc but um, in reality that's, that's not, not true. true i was never obsessed but when i care about someone i will show it and that's what i did she tries to and laugh you're not wrong for that if that's true i apologize and keep begging you're not for wrong for that but let's keep it real i always been like that i'm not even shy or anything to admit that but people pick and choose who they want to listen to who they want to call mature who they want to say oh she don't give a f this and that for me it's always a girl by f you carmen girl f, shut the f up this and that i'm not weird i'm just a human who gonna speak her truth keep the same energy with everyone else who be calling you on your bs y'all make it seem so wrong for me to speak up it's sad but like i said i'm done and i'm in peace and it's the end because this type of situation that we can go on and mm. on throw rocks at each other and would never end and we both know That's true. why so this is a lot now neek did go and delete her tweets i'm not sure if carmen deleted hers but king's tweets were also still up neek says control how you respond to things seek to destroy your peace so it seems like she's done responding to all of these for things. now carmen is still <laughs> denying that she slept with king now oh, when king no, tweeted this saying that oh, no. you know why are you befriending someone that supposedly slept with your boyfriend i'm not sure if he's stating that he slept with carmen or he's not honestly i don't believe that they slept together king is not coming out and directly stating that but i'll say this man if anything they might have flirted or some i don't know but for some reason neek feels very 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 strongly that they did something and i don't know why i don't know why guys but hey y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below other than that i'm gonna get back to my motherfucking wonderful saturday i hope you guys are having a blessed day and i hope y'all have a great motherfucking sunday too unless something big pops off tomorrow i probably will not be posting usually i post monday through friday y'all but i figured i'd come on here because y'all was spamming me in my dms to react to this video that's all i got for you man make sure you like comment subscribe hit that bell so you can be notified every time i post another lit ass video make sure that you dm me at the diamond life 888 let me know what i should be reacting to next until Tell a friend to tell a friend today ain't Jamal today Uncle Joe he's still a hard we'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video I love y'all man peace we out baby